I, I will talk about this one offline. I think this was this might be a title for what we got coming up next with the upset alert. But okay. Okay. we just gonna call it upset alert right now. It's a work in progress. We're still building this plane while it's in the air. But what mm. we do on this segment is we find the team throughout the week that shouldn't win the game that we think gonna win the game. Joe, you gonna like my upset alert this week? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I've been wanting to pick this team for the last three weeks, but we had literally changed the schedule right after I was about to pick this team. My first week I was gonna pick them. We played the Eagles. I said the Cowboys gonna upset the Eagles. Okay, okay. But it didn't happen. So it just so happened that this is your lucky week, Joe. <laughs> the upset alert. <laughs> Definitely gonna be the Cowboys versus the Commanders because there's only two games this week where the spread is crazy with like 10 and a half. I think the mm-hmm. first one is the Chiefs and the Panthers. And Cowboy fans, look at what we're compared to. I think you all are the I second. I saw that one. too. <laughs> I yeah, think, I was like, dang. I would have picked the Panthers if the Chiefs didn't lose last week, right. but the Chiefs lost already. So I gotta go with my home team at the Cowboys. That is, <laughs> I like we that. We're going to upset them commanders, and you want to know why I say that? Y'all ten and a half point favorites right now, so I, if I'm y'all, I say take the points because the Cowboys are on the road. We are not at home. If we were at home, you might have something because the Cowboys right now are 0-6 at home. They're 3-2 and two on the road, and the last few games that they played on the road, they actually put up numbers, mm. and they actually won all of their, almost all of their road games. We almost beat the, we almost beat the Falcons. But we beat the Steelers. I, I gotta hold my head on that one. We beat the Steelers. Come on, say we can join together and say we beat the Steelers, man. Nobody else did it. <laughs> we beat uh the Browns. Sorry, Tay. And then you know, we ain't got that many wins. Mark, you can clip this one up. <laughs> but I do know you the all Giants. the form. Oh, see, that's why I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, we beat the Giants yet. Okay, I'm sorry. Nah, no, that was the way though. That was away though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, nah. We only win when we go away. So it's good. We're not at home. We're going right up there to uh Northwest Credit Union still or uh, field. Mm-hmm. And we go going away. and uh hey, 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 you can put this on Facebook, Decorius. We're gonna lay the smack us down and win by three points. Because <laughs> we won in this game. What you got, Jack? Right. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, I'm surprised you picked them. <laughs> I was gonna have a joke for you and Dave if Dave was on. I know Dave an underdog too, this game. But that's before I heard about Brock Purdy. I was like, dang, now they really an underdog. All right, Tombo. Um, uh, you know, I I I I think that they put us on the schedule for y'all in a bad time. <laughs> like we got a mini bye week. This is like our first bye week for the season for real. If you think about it, everybody healthy again. Y'all healthy too, though, on the low. Y'all fresh of a Monday night game. So it's, a, it's kind of a short week for y'all. Yeah, a lot y'all of people home. out. We're, we're home. You know, like, we fresh over two L's. Mm-hmm. Like, we, we hungry, bro. Like, if yeah. we lose this game, if you're right, Tomo, it's time to hit the panic button for the commanders. I'm going to say mm-hmm. that. All right. Did we just oh, become no. the Bears? Huh? You know, the last two seasons, before this season, you know, it was the Bears game. You're like, you know what, bro? We'll win this game. <laughs> hey, bro, the Bears game is, is tells us the traje- traje- trajectory. Damn, my, my phone is not leave. My nose is The uh, trajectory of the season, we lose to the like we lose to the Bears or we look bad, bro, and just go down south. We actually won. You know what I mean? You so that's true. it's been three years in a row with yeah. that make a break game. All right. We had to Hail Mary, bro. That's our season this year. Hell Mary. But all right. I got my 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 upset alert. I picked this when I was on unfazed. We did our pick them. And this the the biggest upset pick of the week. The Tennessee Titans over the Houston Texans. Yes, sir. I'm going with the Titans. Right, right now, Tennessee, all right, are eight point dogs right now. Eight point mm-hmm. dogs. So I'm going to Tennessee. They are going to Houston. While I'm going to Tennessee, I know the Von Hart. I have my nose right here, but I got a Von Hart. The Tennessee Titans right now, when it comes to yards per game, they're second in the league. Right? They are the number one far defense. They are the number one pass defense in the NFL. See, they struggle is already struggling. He's going to have a tough time against them. And then what's your boy name from the Chiefs? 
uh, the, 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 that's what Tennessee now. I can't think of his name right now. The cornerback. Oh, Sneed. Sneed. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you need some tissue because it's gonna be a sneeze. <laughs> all right, get out of sneeze, sneeze. All right, but sneeze gonna be on that. Sneeze gonna be on Collins, and then rushing. We all know they're gonna try to lead with Joe Mixon. All right, Joe Mixon is a bell cow. Now, if you look at the overall numbers, Tennessee, right? As far as rushing yards per game, they're like twelve. But we talking about rushing yards per attempt. They're six in the NFL, but in the last three games, they're third. Oh, go ahead. You want to stop you with one thing? So. On phase was Tuesday night at nine. Earlier today, Davy Shafter put it in here. I just you said Ladarius Snee. I I recalled it. Oh, He's on injured reserve now. <laughs> the joke was good. I, I as soon as you said it, I just want to let you know because the, the masses are watching. We just gotta let them know. Yeah, look, Snee ain't been playing. He on our shout out to Davy. Yeah. Car. But anyways, I'm gonna stay right with Tennessee though. Last week game, they've been um a, a really good run game. Um, they've been, they've been, uh, they sorry overall for the season, they allow 4.1 yards per carry. But the last three games, it's been 3.7, so they, they've been better the last three games. So I think that's going to be a bad game for the, the Texans offense. But the key for this is turnovers. I mean, Tennessee don't turn the ball over, they give the ball up more than almost more than anybody in the NFL. They're, they're, I think they have top three in that category. So and, and they don't take the ball away a lot, they only got seven takeaways. So this is going to be that game. And lastly, it's a division game. It's a division game. We just saw a 2 of 18 just win last night, <laughs> right? So I'm going with Tennessee getting the upset. And I've been undefeated on upset alert. 2 and 8. 3 and 17 won't have to do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just saying, Joe. I'm just saying. I mean, last time you picked us against us, you know, you picked the Panthers. You saw what happened in that game. I had to, though. <laughs> I had to. They had to win a game. I didn't know when it was coming, but. Oh, the Panthers already played the Broncos. They went a tie. Dang. Nah, yes. that was, and they got smoked. <laughs> yeah. That's a that was the name. game. But that was the game I told you about when I was like, I picked them to tie, but I picked up the Broncos in my other fantasy league. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you got to win, though. And, and Bo Nix is like, thank you, God, I played the Panthers. I'm back in this race. I mean, oh, you just boy. finished the job that your boy, you know, he just finished. If the my job. boy would have played that game, his numbers would have been so much better, but it's cool. He got another week to try to prove it. You know? Yeah, we got dollars this week, so we'll see what happens. I hope Noah Brown ready. I hope Zach oh, is ready. Oh, you got, hey, they they, are, they they talking about the game. Like, they asking about it. They said, is it like a, a they said, listen, no, it's a regular week, but we got a lot of guys in here who's taking this game to heart. Like, <laughs> We got a lot of former Cowboys. Don't say Fowler. Fowler gonna get some sacks, bro. He gonna go crazy against y'all. Uh oh. Go ahead. <laughs> talking about a lot of guys that's talking about the game. Let's talk about these tampering rules right quick because we got some time before we go into the next segment. Oh, the next snap. segment. Okay. Rude to me. Is, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So the next segment we're talking about the All Star Game realignment, but I want to talk about tampering because you know you oh. can get picks taken for that, and I think one of your owners is Magic Johnson, right? He did yeah, some yeah. tampering with LeBron too, but let's talk about Dan Quinn right quick. Michael, how do you approach this going up against DQ, given the relationship you have with him, yeah. his importance to you? Oh, man, I would say, man, me and Q still talk to this day. He shits me up text every week or two, uh, you know, more frequently, recently, maybe trying to get in my head a little bit. You know what I'm But no, he actually helped me get some tickets to the game, too, for my family. So that goes to show you what type of uh, coach DQ is and the type of players coach he is, regardless of where you're at, whether you're playing for him and things like that. He's always he's always about his guys, and that's my guy. So you know it's going to be fun playing oh, against him. I know he's going to have them rallied up. He's probably going to say it's shark week. It's fight night. We got to go to round 12. We got to knock him out. Rivalry game. I know it's all spill, but hmm, I'm Tommy Jones tonight. That's how I'm looking at it. Like, I'm, I'm full this week, so we, it's going to Hey, he's cheesing. I don't know what, bro. <laughs> I took this video two ways, right? I took it two ways. I said, I, do I really want to play this clip? Because do I want to give him more ammo? Because the way he saw smiling was like it was an ex that just called him and was like, how you doing? And he was like, you know, that's my guy. <sighs> yeah, you was right on time. I know, you right? Know, he popped you, know, up my guy. Guy. you know, he still, t and once he said, that's my guy, I said, okay, that's your quarterback. Then I say, hold up. Malik Hooker, I watched the interview with Malik Hooker. He said the same thing about DQ, too. He said he still texts him every now and then, checking <laughs> on him. I said, wait, wait, wait. 
is he tampering with all the cowboy players? Because he know most of them on a one year deal. He's trying to get them up out of there. <laughs> I said, Joe gonna love this, man. But there no. you go, man. That is crazy. Right. He was cheesing. Like he was, he could stop smiling. I could tell you he was trying to stop smiling, but he could not stop smiling. He it's really about that. He, he really do. Yeah. I see he got him tickets to the game. Tampering in a field. I know he got tickets to the game and everything. What my LeBron, what my LeBron mean, Matt, where you got the ref. Hey, him right there. Yeah, they, yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, he got to play <laughs> he that for <laughs> <laughs> so we gonna see man. that's crazy bro i, I did not see that I, I i be i'm subscribed to y'all uh stuff too so i'll be watching y'all interviews <laughs> I, i'll give you a little insider story too i've I, i've been in y'all twitter spaces lately <laughs> i know you said more. <laughs> I, I don't know how uh, i ended up in these twitter spaces i thought it was i only had cowboy stuff on my timeline but i ended up in a few of y'all twitter spaces <laughs> and boy oh boy some of y'all are hitting a panic button. Some of y'all are preparing for the Super Bowl. So Mike, I mean, so Mark, you're not by yourself. And another one of them is just like, bro, let's just have fun with the season. <laughs> and I'm sitting in there. I'm like, man, so I know who Mark is in this group. I know who Joe is and I know who the Decorious is. So I'm like, man, this is funny. And then they started talking about quarterbacks and all that. I was like, all right, I got to go because they started bringing up. They saw talking about Jared Goff was better than Dak Prescott. That's like, all right, time to leave. Time oh, to you leave. Get Carl. <laughs> time to leave. Time to leave, bro. Yo, that's crazy. Dang, Michael, he was geek to talk about DQ. He was like, I'm Floyd. I'm like, bro. I know, right? He put his head down. <laughs> Anything, yeah, I know all this stuff, man. He gonna, you know, I'm Floyd. I don't know what's worse, man. The fact that he did that, or when I was watching y'all play the Bears, and you know, DQ was doing this on the sideline. That you, you so he did that right, and I was watching him with my bro. I was like, he's like, Oh, he's talking about go get him, go get him. I was like, nah, bro, that's the NASCAR package. So what y'all about to do is y'all about to rush the quarterback. And he's like, bro, you watch too much football. I was like, nah, that was my quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> and then y'all went and sat Caleb right after that. I was like, I told you, bro, this is crazy. No, that's like when I watch Kellen. I was like, I know what Kellen about to do right here, bro. I just know my coordinators, man. Hey, that's that that we do got a whole bunch of cowboys over there though. The DC, like no way. Nah, y'all even got people we traded for. Try to be honest. Damn. Mm -hmm. Dang. It's gonna be honest. That's what's gonna make this win on Sunday so much better. <laughs> Cooper Rush? I don't know, bro. He about to get lit up, bro. <laughs> then we gonna push out with him. Marshall not playing. That's why we got Trey Lance. I don't know. I don't know, man. Look, the last time. Our hold on, talk, wait, that's why we got trade line. The last time our team, one of our coaches played against a a, a, a former teenage coach. So what happened, right? The Cardinals. So what happened? So I'm just saying. All I'm saying, is, look, man, Mike Mike McCarthy. This is the one game you need to win. You need to pull out all the tricks. Cause they already saying how Dan is a better head coach than you off of one off of nine games. Like that's just crazy. No, Zimmerman, <laughs> like you got he got he, he it's pressure on him that, that that day. Cause he the replacement. So he gotta show up. I mean the players <laughs> already done came out and said that look, they still texting their ex. Like <laughs> exactly right. They still talking to Dan Quinn. Bro, ain't no way I'm out here talking to Dan Quinn. I'm like, man, go have fun with your family, man. But I take the tickets though. I appreciate you getting tickets for the fam, though. I'm man get on tickets. He like, bro, you always welcome. LeBron, <laughs> he's in his LeBron bag. Like, that's the tamper to the map. <laughs> like, look, like, I'm looking at the video on the bottom, bro. He is cheesing, like, right now. All right, right man, let me get this out of here, man. Look, next subject. <laughs> Speaking of people who are changing things up, here they go 